This exercise is going to modify the example from the textbook. Show current time. So first, copy down this example, and we'll put it in a new file. That's what I've done right here. This is show current time, and we're going to modify this to make it so that it will display the user's current time zone. To do that, we need a new line of input at the very beginning to ask the user what their offset is. Their offset could be negative four, it could be po positive six, and that'll help us determine the current time zone. We're gonna make a change to current hour, but we don't wanna go beyond 24 hours. If their offset is positive two, we don't want to cause that to make their current hour be 25 or something like that. So first, we're going to prompt the user for some input. And then we're going to store that input in a variable called offset. All right. It's important to remember eval because if the user inputs negative 4, initially that's going to be a string. Eval is what turns it into an integer, which is what we need. Now we could add these integers together down at the bottom. Our current hour, we could add offset to it. And this would work for a lot of solutions, but this doesn't do anything to prevent an answer like 25 from happening or zero, I'm sorry, negative one from happening. So instead, I'm gonna add the offset like this. We're including the offset in this line at the beginning before modulo 24, and that will give us our current hour. Now all that's left is to run it. I'm gonna use F5 to run it. I'm gonna enter negative five, and that's right, that's our current time.